Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel here. Um, today I'm doing something a little bit different, something that I haven't done before and uh, that is just looking at a brand specifically. And in this case, I'm going to be looking at one of the brands that have really impressed me lately and one that I think is making some really good moves in the market and have been doing for the past five years or so. Now, this brand is one that has always been around uh, for the most part since I was a kid you know, 20 or so years ago. And, you know, it's always had that recognition to an extent. But at a time, it felt like it was a much cheaper brand, like a much more Eastern brand, if I can put it that way. Now, that sounds a little bit malicious, but I just mean it had that that feeling of being cheap in terms of pricing, but still relatively good um, product. And if you look at this logo, that's the logo that they used to have. And if you see that logo, it'll just be like, yeah, I remember that. And that's their logo now. And that's something. So they've sort of had like a rebrand uh, in, in recent years. And, you know, this video will be titled that they are one of my favorite brands now, probably my favorite. And uh, that is for a reason. Um, and that's what I want to get into in this video. So I've jotted down some points. Um, just some headlines that I think are important to talk about with this. And um, yeah, let me explain to you why I think Deepcool are, if not the best, one of the top five brands in computer gaming and just general computing today. Stay with me. Okay, so firstly here, the first point that I jotted down was that they have a very clean look. Now, if you look at these images that are just scrolling by on the screen, you'll see what I mean. It's very recognizable. They have this sort of streamlined feel to their products now where when you see it, you can recognize, okay, this is a deep cool product. And that mostly applies to the computer chassis, the computer cases, but it also applies to other things like the power supplies. So if we'll take a look at some random computer case, like I've used many of these, um, but let's just say the one that I'm currently using, which is the, uh, let's see if I can find it here, this one. So the CH560 Digital. And when you see this, you just instantly recognize, okay, this is a deep cool product. You know, it has a certain look to it. It's blocky and it has perforation in a certain pattern and you know even the fans it's just it's very recognizable and i think that's a good thing when it comes to designing computer components especially things like cases and power supplies so remember what this looks like and then let's take a look at a power supply you can really choose any one of them but let's just well i mean they are all quite similar looking so let's just take like uh, let's just take like a 8, 850 modular. Now, if you put this with that chassis, um, which is what I've done, by the way, this is what my PC has in it, and I have that chassis, um, it'll be instantly like, okay, that's the same brand. If you look at the back here, the perforation, and even, so another thing that I didn't mention is the color scheme. They have this light blue color and that color also is on a lot of the static uh, computer fans um, that come with cases it's this color and you know this is another point that I jotted down which was brand recognition and that this sort of plays into that when you see that color and you see that logo it's like okay that's deep cool you remember it and that's you know that's what a good company does and you know other companies are do, doing this as well Companies like um, NZXT, if you see an NZXT case, you instantly know that's an NZXT case. They have the same thing with that purple color. When you see a um, Corsair case, it's the same thing with that yellow color. So, and then, you know, when you see the, 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 the case or the fan or the power supply, you recognize it. That's, you know, you can say that's not just a generic thing. So I think that's impressive. And I think it's... Um, it's definitely on purpose. Um, you know, you you can pick it out from the market without knowing what it is. And apart from that, the products are just really good as well. Um, it's good designs. It's good materials. It's just 
it's a good product they they don't they don't use cheap stuff um you know obviously some like like these ones are like 20 dollars you know you're not going to get the best with that but i just mean in general like um you know, they have a lot of uh, uh cpu coolers but let's take something that's like a little bit more high end um let's just take like the ak 500s digital for instance um again you can see that design and it might have rgb like they're not forcing you to just use that one color but just seeing the design re you recognize that color you recognize the design and the logo and it's it's um it's recognizable i guess is what i'm what i'm getting at and another thing that i actually didn't jot down but that's important and i know this because i have a pr these products is if you look at this they integrate their stuff with a lot of other solutions for especially for lighting and this is vital because it allows you no matter which you know mixture of components you're using you can sync them you can have them work together and that's that's always a good thing you know um being friendly with other brands and partnering your stuff so that it works with other brands is a good thing it can't be seen as anything else um, and another thing is they have a big variety in the things that they make for instance these rgb strips i've used these you know um, not a lot of companies sell just those or these um these uh, rgb hubs or even just fan hubs um, there's a specific fan hub that i just bought uh, that is really good and it's it's quite basic but it's so cheap you know and they make a lot of money of these things and you know they have such a big variety in things that they sell i mean graphics card holders uh consumer electronics uh, this is the one i was speaking about a four port fan hub i mean they even sell monitor stands i don't even know that um and even with this you can sort of see it's a deep cool product um they have that brand recognition uh, I'm pretty curious as to what else they have now. You know, they have fans that you can buy, uh, a lot of different designs, all good fans. They, I buy their thermal paste as well because it's good. Now, I didn't actually know this, but they also have peripherals. I didn't know that they sold keyboard, keyboard and mice. I think I might have seen the mice before. Um, this is quite a generic design, but, you know, this one looks quite nice to me. This is the sort of mouse that I would use. And again, you you know, that brand recognition is right there. Um, this one may be a little bit too brand recognized, but, um, you know, it's, 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 it's all very identifiable. Um, and it's a good website as well. I mean, that's not something that's really vital to the brand itself, but this website is super functional and responsive. Um, let's see the keyboards. Now, I've never used one of these or the mouse, but I assume, I mean, from just from looking at it, it, it looks a lot like Cooler Masters, actually. These, one, these ones have red switches. I mean, it looks good. Um, maybe not exactly what I would buy, but it does look good. And, you know, a mouse pad is a mouse pad. But again, they have such a big variety in things that they make. They're such a big brand now, I think, is what I'm getting at. Um, now, personally, for me, the cases are the standout. But... There's a lot of stuff that they make that um, is really good. And this is their newest case, I think, the Morpheus, the internal shapeshifter. So it has that uh, temperature ga gauge at the side. Yes. Jeez, this one has so many USBs. I don't know if I've ever seen that many USBs in a case. Um, so that's another thing that I wanted to actually talk about is the, the engineering that they do um, is sort of cutting edge to an extent, you know, maybe not cutting edge but for for instance this this one with the little monitor i know there are other brands that do this and you know it's not something new uh, you know back in the early 2000s this was quite commonplace actually you used to have it here when you still had dvd drives on the uh, front io um you used to have like these little fan controllers with the with screens and those used to actually be quite cool you know pcs have sort of lost a layer of customization but they've become more streamlined, um, which I think most people will agree looks better. But they have lost a little bit of that customization. And with something like this, you know, this would have been back in the day, this would have been a $50, $60 add-on just to have. So, I mean, you do pay for it. Like the case that I have is, um, again, is this one. And it's not cheap. I mean, it's 
This case was like $160 or something like that. So it's not a cheap case, but for what you get, it's really good. Um, and this video isn't about this case specifically, but you know, they do things with the engineering of their products that a lot of other companies aren't doing or aren't doing as well. Um, and I think that's, you know, that's always to be respected. Now, this case looks a little bit silly. Um, and, you know, they do still sell some of their older things like, like these. And this is sort of what their products used to look like before they streamlined and rebranded. And it's cool to see that they do still sell them because there is still a market for these um, at the right price. So, you know, and, you know, looking at my notepad there, this leads me into my next point. They have a big variety in price as well, because these ones are under like $40, I think. And these top ones, like the, the shapeshifter one, this one will be around $200. I'm not sure exactly, but that's just what I have to guess um, in my country, at least in South Africa. So they have a, a little something for everyone is what I'm getting at. They have a big variety and um, a lot of their stuff is very affordable. Not just, I'm just looking at the chassis, chassis now, but this applies to everything. You know, most people shop for fans, chassis and power supplies, and they do have a big variety in power supplies as well. So, yeah, um, I think I got to everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, and just to, to sum it up and, and uh, phase out the video there, um, they have been making a lot of good moves, um, I think is what I'm getting at. You know, the, the temperature screens, the streamlined design, the customization, um, the variety, the recognition, um, you know, the clean looks, um, the way that their stuff works with other stuff, with other systems. You know, you can buy a black uh, fans, you can buy white fans, you can buy black and white cases, uh, AIOs, I didn't even get to AIOs, um, CPU coolers, um, and I think what I'm getting at is just that they've been doing a lot of things that make sense and they've been doing it at reasonable prices. So to to end it there, um, those are the reasons that Deepcool is one of my top five brands at this moment in time. And all in all, probably my top uh, top favorite brand right now for the things that they offer. You know, there are brands that do it better, but there are no brands that are more um, price cognizant and conscience. Um, I think they have the best price to value ratio of any brand right now. Now that's just my opinion. This is all just my opinion, but I really love Deep Cool and um, I want to see them keep doing what they're doing. Um, so I guess to end out the video, thank you for watching and Deep Cool, keep doing what you're doing. Cheers.